remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Before I go in, I want you to know that the Willie D Live memberships are finally here. If you want a better experience than just being a subscriber, click that link in the description and join. Some of you will see the join button on your laptops, your desktops, and your iPads. If you don't see it on your phone, just click on the link and join. Support, 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 support. Now let's get right into it. Some of you already know this, but it took a while for me to really catch my snap. See, I was raised in a place where you settle conflict with fists and guns. Somebody do something you don't like, you know, you go... You go upside their head, you shoot them, you stab them, or you insult them, right? That's how I was raised. So I realized after a while, if those are my initial reactions, that means that I'm really not in control of my emotions. And I don't like not being in control of my emotions. Because when you're not in control of your emotions, you make emotional decisions and de emotional decisions are costly. And I made a lot of costly mistakes by making these emotional decisions. Over time, I learned how to compartmentalize my aggression. Every situation doesn't cause for an immediate reaction. Every time there's a situation even that where it could be potentially combative, you don't have to fight that battle. You know, it's so old saying you got to choose your battles. Choose your battles. You know, pick your battles. And I didn't have an off button. I didn't know. You know, I was like, battle, boom, battle, boom, battle, boom. You want it? Bring it all day, every day. It's whatever. And I did not like that. I pride myself on being a better person every day. I pride myself on not making the same mistakes. Because I just, you ever like make the same mistake and after you make the mistake, you just feel like a damn fool. You know, God damn, I ought to know better, you know? That's how I do sometimes. Like, damn, I did it again. Like, damn, I did it again, you know? So I don't like that feeling. So I had to learn how to control my emotions. And I think I got it mastered right now. I have this conversation with my son from time to time so that he can learn in 20 years what it took me 40 years to learn. Some of us think we're really on our game, and I thought I was on my game back then. And, I, you know, and to an extent, I was on my game better than most guys were, but I still was not the best person that I could be. Once I learned to control my emotions, I became a better communicator. I became a better friend, a better lover. I became a better business associate. I became a better person. This is what controlling your emotions will do for you. It will actually make you a better person. Now, what's crazy is that I'm hearing these sirens in the background and I'm talking about controlling my emotions and when I did not control my emotions, oftentimes, you know, sirens would uh, be heard. You dig what I'm saying? 
But anyway, controlling those emotions. The second thing is, you know, this goes without saying, this is really self-explanatory right here, but being able to control your, your penis, oh man, when you do that, you get on a whole, whole other level. It's like a level that, and it's powerful. It's power in, in not thinking that you got to sex every beautiful woman that you see, every woman that you're attracted to. It's power in knowing that, okay, I don't want nothing from her. Uh, and if I want anything, it's this business relationship that we're going to have or it's just being a friend. I'm cool. I understand. You know, it's getting that understanding is very powerful. It makes you a better man and also you don't make as many mistakes as a lot of cats make. Because a lot of cats will put themselves in compromising positions because they don't know how to control that thing. And they land up in some dude's house, next thing you know, boom, bam, boom, you know what I'm saying? And got his noodles now. You know, I saw a dude sitting up in a restaurant the other day uh, with some dude's chick. And of course, you know, woman could say anything. You don't know what the, what the real situation is, but some dude, I guess a dude walked in and he, you know, confronted her and everything and he was really, really emotional and he was, you know, kind of like he wanted to bring some harm to her. And I ain't gonna lie, man. In the past, I may not have intervened, but I, I was waiting. It wasn't gonna be any filming and watching some black woman get dogged out and hugged out and or, or murdered or whatever. Uh, if I had to go to jail or if I had to, you know, risk it, you know, risk my health or whatever, I was going to do it because I wasn't going to allow dude to hurt that woman. And I didn't know her, but I'm just tired of seeing black women get dogged publicly. I'm tired of seeing people standing by and watching our women uh, get harmed. So, uh, it wasn't gonna happen on my watch. But I could tell dude was really, I could tell he was abusive because she was fucking scared to death. I mean, I saw fear in her eyes. And I was hoping she went the other way, but you know, she followed him home. I mean, well, you know, I guess she followed him home. Well, he followed her or whatever. But you know, I went outside, got in my vehicle, and uh, I saw her wait for him to drive off. And they drove off together. And I'm like, man, she should have took that moment right there to go the other way. Because I'm sure she's going to get ambushed. But anyway, that's a dude that ain't in control of his emotions. Because once you get in control of your emotions, you understand that nobody owns anybody. We don't own these women. These women don't own us. It's yours as long as you're with her at that moment. It's yours while you're with her at that exactly at, at that exact moment. The minute, the moment she get done or she gets through or walks off or even says in the midst of it, get off me. Uh, you know, leave me alone. Don't touch me. It ain't yours anymore. It's as simple as that. And a lot of us, we get caught up in these titles and stuff. These titles are just uh, these titles are just used for identification purposes. That's it. That's it. We don't own each other. So once you realize that, if your woman or your dude step out on you, do something dirty, cheat on you or whatever, of course, being a human being, you'll be hurt or whatever. But to be able to compartmentalize that and say to yourself, you know what? It's cool. She going to hurt her. He going to hurt a whole lot more when I move on, because obviously if she's cheating on me, she ain't worth it. So, and I gotta have more respect for myself and my freedom and my life and my health to know to walk away. That's hard to do, but it's mandatory if you want to remain of sound body and mind. It is very, very 
necessary. So control that thing and also control it because, you know, a lot of dudes be out here just slanging it and, and just breeding, you know. It's important to not have all of these different babies and, and baby mamas and you, even if you had the money to take care of those babies, where are you going to get the time from? Especially if the kids live in different cities or states. Dig what I'm saying? Control those emotions and your penis. Thank me later. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Damn.